I shall now describe some simple space groups based on the point group 2, point group M and the point group 2 by M. Say for example, there are three space groups which we can find are based on the point group 2. Let us take the first one, the space group P2. So, P2 immediately shows that the underlying lattice is a primitive lattice and we are having a plan view here taken from the top of the lattice. Say these are the four lattice points. So, P2 means a space group where the lattice Bravais lattice is a primitive one and it has a twofold rotor as the only symmetry element. So, suppose O plus indicates a group of atoms attached to each and every lattice point. So, O plus is a group of atoms which is attached to every lattice point. Now, if the lattice has got a twofold rotor through these lattice points along the y direction, then what will happen? Because there is a twofold rotor in the y direction at each lattice point, the given group of atoms will generate another group of atoms as shown here. It is at a different level that is why it is written O minus. Similarly, at this point you know this group of atoms will be generating another group 180 degrees away, but attached to this particular lattice point. Similarly, this group of atoms will generate another group of atoms you know based on this lattice point, this group of atoms will generate another group of atoms based on this lattice point. So, this is the space group P2 where the extended crystal will have the group of atoms associated with the lattice points and these will produce some other groups as shown already. Now, if you look at the arrangement of the groups of atoms here, immediately it comes to our mind that look at this group O plus and this group O minus. What kind of relationship they have? They have a relationship as if there is a twofold rotor passing through the center of the unit cell. Similarly, look at the group O minus here and O plus here, they are arranged in such a fashion as if there is a twofold rotor present over there. So, this twofold rotor was not consciously used, but it comes into existence because of the arrangement of the groups of atoms that are possible after rotation around a twofold rotor along the y axis. So, this is a new twofold axis that is generated. Now, let us go to the next space group P21. Again, here the underlying lattice is of a primitive type and we have not a twofold rotor in this case, but we have a twofold screw axis instead. So, since it is a primitive lattice and this is the plan view of the primitive lattice, we have got say a group of atoms attached to each four lattice point. 
Now, there will be as per the space group rotation a twofold screw axis along the y. So, it acts on all the lattice points along the y axis. So, what happens because of the presence of the screw axis? We know that a screw axis rotates and at the same time translates along itself. So, this from this group of atoms attached to this lattice point, we will produce another group you know at 180 degree rotation, but at the same time it has got translated by half a lattice parameter along the y direction. Similarly, this group attached to this lattice point will produce another group somewhere over here. This group of atoms attached to this lattice point will produce you know another group at 180 degrees over here and this group of atoms attached to this will produce another group of atoms somewhere over here and it will continue. So, you see that although the underlying point group in for, for this and this you know are the same. That means, the group of atoms attached to the lattice points are the same in both P 2 and P 2 1, but since the lattice has you know a, a two fold rotor acting on the lattice points in this case and the lattice has a two fold screw axis acting on the lattice points, the arrangement of the group of atoms through space will be quite different. So, if we have got two crystals which of two different materials which otherwise will look exactly the same from outside and they have the same point group which uh, gives you gives us an idea of how the atoms are arranged at a particular lattice point, but the spatial distribution of the atom groups is quite different in the two cases and this will result in different properties of materials having a point group P 2 and a space group P 2 uh, a space group P 2 and a space group P 2 1. Now, we describe a third space group which is written as C 2. So, what it means that the underlying lattice is a C type. So, what we have over there, you have the plan view, you will have say a group of atoms attached to this lattice point, a group the same group of atoms attached to this lattice point, same group of atoms attached to this lattice point, same group of atoms attached to this lattice point and the same group of atoms attached to this lattice point. Now, if we have a two fold rotor along the y axis as shown here, what we will have because of the two fold rotor, this group of atoms will produce a similar group of atoms over here at 180 degrees away. Similarly, at this lattice point, this group will produce a similar group at a uh, at 180 degrees away because of the two fold rotor and same for the group attached to this, the group attached to this and the group attached to this. Now, if we look at the arrangement of the groups of atoms here, we will see that this group over here, this group over here and this group over here and this group over here, uh, you know uh, I am sorry, this group here, this group here and this group here have an arrangement as if there is a two fold screw axis passing through, passing along this line. Similarly, the group of atoms here, here and here, they are arranged in such a fashion as if there is a two fold screw axis passing through this. So, we have not consciously talked about these screw axis, but they automatically arise because of the arrangement of the group of atoms due to the operation of the two fold rotor. Now, we talk about the space group P m. Here again the underlying lattice is of a primitive type and here 
we have a mirror which of passes through the uh, lattice points in this manner. So, we have got uh, you know mirror, a mirror passing through the lattice points as shown over here. And if O plus is a group of atoms attached to every lattice point, because of the mirror it will produce another group of atoms by reflection as shown here, as shown here, as shown here, as shown here. So, we will have you know the groups of atoms which will be arranged in this fashion in the space group P m. Now, if we look at uh, you know the arrangement of the groups of atoms in this space group, it appears that the arrangement of the atom groups is such as if there is a new mirror which is generated. So, please remember this is the given mirror and this is the new mirror which is generated and because of this you know this is a mirror reflection of that, this is a mirror reflection of that etcetera etcetera. Now, let us talk about say the space group P c. Again here the underlying Bravais lattice is a primitive lattice and we have a C type glide plane here no longer a mirror. So, we have a C type glide plane. So, here you have the C type glide plane passing through these lattice points and again here we have got C type glide plane passing through the lattice points. Now, what does a glide plane do? A glide plane not only reflects, but it also translates. So, you see that it is a C type glide plane that means the translation is along the z axis. So, what will happen to this atomic group attached to this because of the existence of this glide plane, it will generate another group of similar group of atoms not exactly on this side, but half the lattice parameter above the you know uh, uh, above the plane of this board. So, you see that there will be a another group of atoms which will be generated, but half the lattice parameter above you know along the c axis and similar will thing will happen for at the other lattice points over here, here and here. Now, looking at the arrangement of these uh, atomic groups, now you realize as if there is a new glide plane over here. So, this is a new glide plane which is generated and you can relate the atoms groups on this side with the atom groups on that side if that is a new glide plane that is generated. Now, we go to the space group C m. So, here again the underlying Bravais lattice is a C type lattice and it has a mirror you know passing through the um, pa you know passing through the lattice points. Say for example, we have a C type lattice. So, there will be atom, atom groups attached to these four lattice points as well as the one at the center. And there are given mirrors which are this mirror passing through the lattice points, this mirror passing through the lattice point and this mirror passing through the lattice point. So, what happens because of the operation of the mirrors? This atom group will generate this atom group by reflection, this atom group will generate this by reflection, this atom group will generate this by reflection etcetera etcetera at this point at this point too. So, looking at the arrangement of the atomic groups, it appears as if there are several things. For example, you know two fold screw axes are produced as shown here as well as as shown here, because you see that you can relate you can relate these atomic groups by assuming that there is a glide plane here. Similarly, you can assume 
you know, by relating this, you can assume that there is a light plane acting over here. Now let us talk about the space group CC. So underlying gravity lattice is C type and instead of a mirror, it is associated with a C type light plane. So as before, say O plus stands for the group of atoms associated with every lattice point as shown over here and due to the given uh, you know, uh, light plane here, here as well as here, we produce the other groups of atoms as shown here and the way these groups of atoms are, a look at this figure will clearly show that there are you know some other light planes produced over here as well as here too. So these are some of the more simple types of um, space groups. They show very clearly that uh, you know depending on the uh, you know the symmetry elements which the lattice possesses, you know how the group the groups of atoms uh, will produce a given group of atoms associated with a lattice point will produce similar groups of atoms. So their spatial location will depend on what type of symmetry elements the lattice has. So while the arrangement of atoms at any lattice point, arrangement of a group of atoms at any lattice point is decided by the underlying point group, but in the same point group depending on the combination of the light plane and screw axis, we can produce a large number of space groups. So while point group will give us an idea of arrangement of atoms or a group of atoms at a lattice point, the space groups will give us an idea of how the group of atoms are placed on an extended volume of the crystal. Now there are more complicated space groups also, but we are not going to discuss that here.